So the uh, concept of ineffability is basically denotes the property of not being expressible. And typically we mean that not to be expressible in language, in the kind of human language that we use. Um, and then so once once we've sort of figured out what we mean by ineffability, then there is the additional <clears throat> the additional question what the property attaches to, what kinds of things are potentially ineffable. Could there be perhaps ineffable objects, ineffable properties, ineffable truths? Um, could there be ineffable contents or knowledge? Uh, I actually think that the only coherent one uh, of those different candidates is the concept of ineffable knowledge um, and that that kind of knowledge can do a lot of explanatory work in our metaphysics and in our ways of explaining reality. Uh, so the question whether the concept of ineffability can help us reconcile um, the idea of God with uh, science is a very interesting one and I think it actually can. Um, so very often people who are not theists and who have a lot of faith in what science can achieve uh, believe that basically everything there is to know about reality and about the world is expressible in, in the terms that science offers us, in the terms of physics and then in, additionally in the terms of chemistry and biology. And over and above what's expressible in scientific terms, there is nothing more to know about the world. And um, so given that science currently is not able to tell us much about about God, um, people conclude that God must not exist. I mean, if science doesn't prove the existence of God, then God cannot exist. And I think, first of all, I think that's not true, not the case. But um, so the concept of ineffability, especially as applied to ineffable knowledge, can help us reconcile the two intuitions. The intuition on the one hand that science is the ultimate tool we have at the moment to explain reality. And on the other hand, that there is something over and above what science is telling us about reality. So um, I would argue that um, there are kinds of knowledge that are ineffable, that are beyond language and um, specifically beyond the language of uh, contemporary empirical sciences. And this is a kind of knowledge that we can definitely gain that can be revealed to us but that cannot be grasped by the means of science. And in this way, the two forms of knowledge, empirical knowledge and whatever else we might want to call the non-empirical knowledge, divine knowledge, can coexist without being in contradiction with one another.